Hey Ortega Otters! Today we are opening up our new center. Um, we're opening up the Sculpture Center where we're gonna learn our first project. We'll be making animals and people figures um, out of foil or if you do not have foil available or you need it, your parents need it for cooking, you could also use paper. So let's get started. All right, so let's talk about what is a sculpture. A sculpture is something that you can see from the side. So it has three dimensions. It's no longer flat. So far we've done a lot of flat things. We've opened up our drawing center. Everything we drew is on a flat surface. Painting, collage. Um, the clay pieces, they were sculptures. They're a type of sculpture that we made in class. Um, but today we are going to make sculptures with um, foil and paper and actually anything else that you have around the house that you can put together maybe with some masking tape um, or some glue you are welcome to make those as well but um, for this lesson we are going to be making foil creatures or people um, he's just like a little hat here or um, you could even make one if you don't have foil available. Um, paper does work too. Um, I did put a little popsicle stick on here. I taped him on so that he can kind of stand, but there's definitely some balancing involved. So that's some engineering problem solving you guys can figure out on your own to try to make your figures stand if you want. Um, there is a format. So um, this looks pretty funny. It is a piece of paper. It has two lines drawn at the top and one at the bottom. So when we make our foil or our paper figures, we are going to get a piece of paper or foil about this size. You're going to make a rectangle and you're going to make two cuts. So these are actually going to be cuts. You're going to put two cuts here and then one at the bottom. And I will show you why. Got your scissors, so you're gonna need scissors. So if you cut two, two cuts at the top, make two cuts, one, two, and then one at the bottom, then this is kind of looking like something familiar. Maybe this looks like an arm, and this looks like an arm, and these look like legs, and this will become our head. So let me show you how to do that. I'll show you first with this paper since I already have it cut, and then um, we'll do foil. Okay, so you're gonna first, you're gonna bunch up one arm, like a little flap there. You're gonna bunch up your other arm, you're gonna do your legs. Starting to look a little bit like something. Look at that. <laughs> um, then go ahead and you're going to mash. You're gonna scrunch in this. This is our head. And then it could be like, a, this could be anything, right? It could be like a superhero flying, or I always think it looks like a flying squirrel. Um, and then you're going to tuck in the body. And then you never know, it's always a surprise what your animal or person becomes or what it becomes. But this one is kind of looking like a person to me. So this is really cool. You can um, glue on some hair if you want make some clothes for your figure. Again, if you wanted to attach a popsicle stick, you could. Um, this could be anything you want it to be. That's the great thing. You could even, I even have some masking tape here. I kind of want to put this around the body and just see what happens. Just for fun. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. So it's kind of hard to stop playing around with these guys once you make them. All right, on to the foil figure. 
So I have some foil here. You have to ask your parents um, or whoever you're with if you can use some foil. They're gonna, you can do this or you can ask for help. You're gonna pull out about this much. And then there's a little bit of, there's a cutting area here. So you're gonna pull on one corner and it should tear off. And just like before, we're going to make two cuts. It's gonna be a little noisy. Maybe I'll put the volume down for this. Two cuts on one side and one on the bottom. I will pause that while I cut it because it is noisy, hold on. All right, I made my cuts and now I'm going to scrunch it up. The foil scrunch is much easier than the paper, so, um, go, so you can go ahead and do the arms, the legs, the body, and the head. And because I want this one to be an animal, I like to make an animal, I'm gonna put the legs down and then the head, I'm gonna make it come up like this. And now, I guess if I attach another, I'm kind of thinking this one looks a little bit like a giraffe, it just needs a longer neck. So maybe I would attach another piece of foil and make this one into a giraffe. So um, again, I will put up these instructions on a PDF. Um, you're gonna make two cuts at the top, one on the bottom, um, and then have fun and create your three-dimensional paper or foil sculpture.